So today is the moment of truth. That's right, the moment of truth. You guys remember this little switch right here, right? I'm gonna put it on the on position. You see, uh, we've got a little bit of a breakdown here. And I noticed it uh, about two days ago. The Hylion system has been temporarily unavailable. Everything looks good over here. That's a check. And over here, yep, that is in the on position. So when we start the truck, this should all reset and it should go to the main co-pilot screen, but it does not. So we called up Hylion yesterday and uh, believe it. Their phone number is right there in the visor. That's for service. Gave him a call, said that the system isn't working. Uh, this was yesterday, Monday, around 9.05 in the morning. They picked up. Um, very nice person on the other end of the line tried to resolve the problem with me over the phone and was working on the computer um, there in Cedar Park, Texas to try to resolve the issue uh, to no avail. So this individual called me back around 3.30 yesterday and said, we will send somebody up to Midland, Texas to work on it and figure it out today. Apparently, the issue is that this screen here is frozen. We can't get out of this screen. Now, the individual did inform me, this is the individual at Hylion in the service department, that the vehicle is safe to operate, um, and everything appears to be working fine, but as you know, with the Hylion Hybrid EX system, I don't have access to APU prep, or the ability to turn the APU on or off, or or I should say, nor am I able to confirm that the E-axle is actually working and engaging proper, properly. Me personally, I did not feel it, uh, specifically last night. Definitely when loaded, it felt like the system was offline, not just on the screen. So, today we will find out uh, how this process goes, and um, hopefully that'll give uh, some of you guys some insight on how Hylion uh, takes care of their equipment when there is a malfunction or a breakdown. Get it back to the yard, truck is moving and we still have the same problem. It's not coming on here. Yep. So the guys are here and they're checking out my truck right now. They're gonna get it all fixed up. So, so far uh, we've only had to wait uh, less than 24 hours basically. And they're over here fixing it up. Okay, everybody, I've hopped in another truck here while we wait. And um, I spoke to the guys and they went out. Uh, looks like it may be a faulty connection cable uh, somewhere in the system. Uh, a cable that connects uh, the brain to the system itself. Uh, they believe the cable is faulty and they're in there working on it right now. It looks like uh, we got everything fixed up and we're going to take it out for a test drive. Alright guys, they made some nice little changes there. Look at this. That's really cool. Because it's an auto right now, so right now it's basically the daily function when you drive it out. Gotcha. In a minute, I'm going to put it in fast charge. You see? In fast charge, it, it doesn't use the system anymore. All it does is charge the car.
up on it and then we'll come back. This is a nice empty country road up here. Like it was grabbing gears at like 900 RPM, now it's grabbing like 1100. That's why I knew something was wrong. Like it just didn't feel right, too. But uh, it's much better now. Are you close to the foot on the ground? Yeah. Yeah. See, it's really 100% low. Let them blow it. All I care about right now is make sure the system's working. Blue and green, blue and green. That's an auto. Uh, once we get real low in charge, we'll slap it as fast charge. I should just do that now. And then you'll see that the green goes away. But it can run electric if you guys had to. You can run up to 15 miles an hour in electric. It depends on how much weight you got. Like I said, a bobtail and just track oh, it by yeah. itself, like you push it up to 15. Okay. Um, it's not really pushing up the mileage, it's uh, how much torque I want to use. Got it. And it just depends on the weight of the truck. I've got a wheel well for 15. I think I might get it moving with the trailer attached. Okay. Does the Hypertruck ERX really make 670 horsepower? Can I put that on YouTube, what you just said, or no? <laughs> no? Okay. I'll, 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 cut, I'll cut that part out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I will. I'll cut that part out. So, if we were in the Hypertruck ERX and we were going from zero to like 40, would it have to go through gears or no? No, all, no. The, way up, all the way up to about 60 to hold one gear. 
one gear. Nothing but a constant pull. It's when you're trying to get up to a little bit higher speed, all the way up to like what, 70, 75. It'll switch. Just not that way the motor's not working too hard. What? That is crazy. It is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but that's super important though if you drive a truck because in terms of just accelerating, like getting from zero to like 20, yeah. like it's a lot of stress, especially when in the city, because you have cars trying to cut you off because they know you're going to take forever yeah. to get up to speed and you're like working gears, like you can run this in manual, you know, you're just trying to get it going when you're fully loaded. Yeah. So I mean, that's pretty cool. Do you guys know or can you say when the Hypertruck ERX will be out or no? We're talking a lot of different dates. Can I give you that information right now? Okay. Uh, mainly because uh, we can uh, use it for a handful of customers first. Of course. Um, I think you guys are actually part of that program. I believe so. That other driver that passed us, I think he's going to be the first one to drive it when it's out. When it's out. So we need to get to drive it. Okay, so everything's all fixed. Uh, Ryan and Doug came out, and it only took them about uh, an hour and a half. They got the part. Everything's back running again, and uh, they gave me some good information, some of which I can't share with you all, but uh, they're going to be on their way, and uh, enjoy talking to uh, them and uh, all the information they had to share, and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, so that's it. Uh, Ryan and Doug, uh, the mechanic from Hylion, came out. Uh, they gave me a ton of information, fantastic to know, some of which I cannot share with you, but it's, it's really good information. Uh, about the future and going forward and hey, I'm sorry uh, my camera might have cut out as you can see we are back up we have our screen back up now no problems connecting to the system I can turn the APU on and off and we took it for a test drive everything is running fantastic and great so um, this was not made up this actually happened today um, so if you guys want some insight about you know the company and how they handle things I mean uh, this is a great example I called them yesterday uh, they scheduled to come up today um, and it's not even 4 p.m. Um, I was able to drive the truck last night they told me everything was safe but uh, now it's up and operating full power everything's totally good to go um, thanks to Hylion thanks to Ryan and Doug uh, the service mechanics they drove up here to help me out uh, there you go right there and they're uh, about to take off right now everything's fixed and uh, drive mix game See you guys in the next video.